In this video, we'll take a look at how we can navigate the model using the spaces that were imported in the previous video. And these spaces are stored in the electrical database. So we'll look at how we can utilize that to navigate around in the model. And then we'll also take a look at the annotation scale and confirm that we have the annotation scale lock on. So in the previous video, we imported architectural spaces. So I'm in my epower1.dgn file. I've got the electrical tab and the ribbon interface open up here. And over in the space management group of tools, there is this building properties. So if I open the building properties, I see that for office floor one, which is the power DGN file for office floor one, I've got these different spaces in there. So for example, if I choose the electrical room, room number 106, so notice in the building manager dialog box here, at the bottom, we have this magnifying glass icon. And you'll notice that it says display room shape, the tool tip that pops up there. So if I choose the magnifying glass icon, any views that I have open will zoom in to that electrical space and it will outline it with that green outline. So I can see in view two, which is in the top orientation, that sure enough, it's zoomed into the electrical room right here. Now view three is in a front orientation. So that outline we're seeing edge on here. And view one is in an isometric orientation. So that electrical room is, is actually there. If, so if I rotate my view, so I'll come up here to the view rotate and set my method to dynamic and rotate this view around. You'll see that, zoom out a little bit. This is the nature of the isometric orientation that I had that view in. I can see that there's the electrical room right there. So I'll do a right click to get out of that rotate view that I was in. And then if I do another right click, I return to the building manager. So you can see if I choose some of these different rooms and again, hit the magnifying glass, Again, my views will navigate over to those particular rooms. And then the right click returns me to the building manager and I can exit out of the building manager with the little icon, close icon on the bottom right, or you can click on the X up there at the top right of the dialog box. Another thing we wanna look at in this video is the annotation scale lock. If I come up to the models, tool up here in my common tools group. Each model has an annotation scale that you can assign to it. So if I come to the properties here, edit model properties, you'll see the properties dialog box open up and I can see in this general category, the annotation scale, and you can see that I can change it right here. So in this case, my annotation scale is one eighth of an inch equals a foot. So that's the where the annotation scale is set. But in order to ensure that my electrical symbols as I as I go to start placing them, that any labels or subtype tags that they have associated with them will be at the proper size for my text, I want to make sure my annotation scale lock is turned on. So at the status bar down there, we have our locks icon. And if I hover over it, it will show me which locks that are turned on right now, but I can go ahead and click on it here. And you can see the various locks and there's the annotation scale lock right there. And it is on right now. So I'm good to go in this DGN file. Again, you wanna confirm that you have the annotation scale lock turned on in your files and if it was off and you turn it on, I would come up here and do a save settings. So that will be saved, the state of the annotation scale lock that it's turned on. Save settings will keep it that way the next time I open the file. So the next video is placing a distribution panel.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.